Let me walk you through the world of one of my favorite ingredients to cook with, cheese. Now, kind of like cooking with wine, when it comes to cooking with cheese, save the expensive and artisanal cheeses for the cheese board and use a more modest price point when it comes to cheeses for cooking. Now, you've got a couple of styles of cheese. The first being fresh cheeses. That's ricotta, boccaccini, uh, fresh chevre or goat cheese. These cheeses aren't aged, they're nice and light, crumbled on a salad, stirred into a light style of risotto like asparagus. And these are the only cheeses that really pair well with any fish or seafood dishes. Then you've got the world of the soft, ripened cheeses like brie here, and here's a goat cheese brie. If I'm melting these into dishes, as opposed to putting them on a salad, I will take off about half of the rind because the cheese will separate from the rind. Then, if you really like a rich, cheesy flavor to your dishes, try a robust, surface-ripened or washed rind cheese, like Oka here, which has a full nutty profile. This is Morbier, and these really add that distinctive, cheesy taste to dishes and melt into things beautifully. Then up here, we have the hard and aged cheeses. Everybody knows classic cheddar cheese, whether grated on top of a salad, over vegetables, or stirred into a sauce, it's delectable. Parmesan, of course, is a natural. And then the last category, it seems you love it or you hate it, it's blue cheese. We've got a creamy stilt in here that has that sort of fruity blue characteristic and the more robust blue Benedictine. You take a slice of that and place it on top of a steak that just came off the grill. Oh, that is a slice of heaven. Can you tell I like cheese? <laughs>